It's been ages. Let's make an engine. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. It's been like six months since I've uploaded. So I'm really, really happy I was finally able to get another video out. As you can evidently tell, I have made a Lego overhead valve, or HOV, Lego vacuum engine. This engine took roughly three hours to make, and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. If you want a tutorial, let me know in the comments, and if we get, let's say, 25 likes, I'll do a tutorial. And I'm thinking of maybe seeing if I can hook up a vehicle to this and see how well it runs. But let's look over some of the aspects of this engine and then watch it run. So as I mentioned, this is a overhead uh, valve vacuum engine. And basically what that means is instead of the valves just being connected to a separate axle in the front, so around here, and then going up to the valves, the valves are connected through a series of rods that lead around to the back, moving like so. Pretty much the only way I see an overhead valve system be better than just your regular system is you can mount the valves on sideways instead of having to have a direct axle that goes all the way through, and that is necessary for an inline four. And if you're wondering why I didn't just connect the valves in front, honestly, because it looks cooler. I mean, come on, these <laughs> these rods and stuff look a lot cooler than just having just simple valves moving up and down. But one downside to having overhead valve en engine is the valves are a lot bulkier. And more bulk means more friction, which does mean that this engine runs a bit slower than your typical vacuum engine. But I think it's made up with the looks. One downside though to an overhead valve engine, and this is kind of apparent, it's kind of hard to make the, uh, the pistons visible because from all sides, except for the narrow sides, are covered with something. In the back, it's covered by the intake, or yeah, intake, and in the front, it's covered by the valves, but you can see it much better with the valves moving around, so I think this is okay. Another thing that I looked into is the way the valves fire in your legitimate inline four engine. The valves fire one, four, they fire, and then two and three fire. That's exactly what I've done, so it's more accurate. One thing I did have to do that is a little bit different from other um, inline four vacuum engines, such as KF Plus Lego Mastery, is this system right here. I have two 40 tooth gears moving the pistons and the valves instead of having a chain. And my main reason for that is because I simply don't have a chain, but I am able to make this work with two 40 tooth gears. The only thing though is when these pistons move, this gear spins clockwise or counterclockwise, so this spins the opposite direction, which means this would fail if I had to have more gears moving on because I would get different gear rotations. Well, with a chain, both gears always spin the same direction. But I had no issue with this, so I'm just gonna keep it. However, another little issue I have is, as I mentioned, these are two 40 tooth gears, and you can see that both of these gears aren't perfectly aligned because, well, they're both 40 tooth gears. If one was a 40 tooth gear, the other was a 39th uh, tooth gear, it would work to some extent, but then you would have a weird gear ratio. So unfortunately, that isn't able to work. But it's really all I have to talk about with the engine intake is into important. If we do get a tutorial, I will add a carburetor onto this or, uh, yeah, carburetor if that's what you want to call it. So again, if we get to 25 likes, I will make a tutorial for this thing with the carburetor as well. But for now, 
Let's just watch this thing run. I know that's what everybody always waits for. Thank you all so so much for watching this video i know again it's been ages since i've uploaded but i do plan on making more videos of the future and according to my poll which should be around here uh you are all very all right with me making a few 3d printed uh content videos so you might see some of that in the future i'm planning on doing one where i test 3d printed lego pieces we'll see if that ever becomes a thing though um but thanks so much for watching you know what to do if you want a tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.